What is up, folks? So we are here at the Excalibur Buffet. Uh, we've heard that it's one of the most underrated buffets here in Vegas. We did a two-for-one My Vegas Rewards. Uh, if you don't have My Vegas Rewards, you need to check those out because they are definitely worth it. Uh, we're at the weekend brunch. This is a Saturday. And we got uh, got two for one, so it's only like 30 bucks. Make sure you definitely check those out. Uh, we haven't been in this buffet before, but we're gonna definitely see what she's all about, weekend brunch. Uh, I don't think they have a drink package, of course. Everything is self-service. But let's go up and see what they got on the menu and, you know, to eat. They do. Oh, they actually, they do have an all-you-can-drink. Did not know that. I think we might be adding that on. We'll go talk to the waitress, and I think they'll add that on to it for us. So it includes strap beer, mimosa, Bloody Marys, and house margaritas. So yeah, definitely we're gonna we're gonna do that right there. Boom. All right. Cool. Good looking out there. Good job. All right. So I'm gonna head up to the buffet, and we're gonna film and see what they got up there. So let's go. All right. So we're gonna do this nice and slow because I was told before that I do it too fast. So. Here's a little bar area right here at the start of the buffet. We're gonna head into the Latin section first and then to the Asian, down to the Carvery, all the way around, and then we'll hit the desserts over there last. All right, here we go, starting off in the Latin section. We've got some stuff here. Don't wanna to get too close to the food there with the camera, but all right. Looks like we have some makings of possibly some tacos here. Some pico de gallo. Salsa, sour cream. So the buffet is moving a little slowly, so there might be little cuts in between, so I'm not just standing here. All right, we are here for the Al Pastor chicken. Looks like we got some chorizo and potatoes in the back. Some rice and beans. That looks pretty good. Got some beef birria. Got some roasted cod fillets. Some chips and salsa. A little red pepper flake. And some oregano. All right, over into the Asian section. We got a little bit of sushi. Looks like they're in need of a, of a restock there. Some pickled ginger, some edamame, some kimchi, and some wasabi. Coming over here, got some tom yum soup, some shrimp lo mein, and some bok choy and shiitake mushrooms. That looks pretty good. We've got both steamed rice, fried rice, orange chicken, pot stickers, vegetable rolls. It's all look delicious. Coming around here, we have an omelet station right there. I don't want to poke my head in between everybody, but yeah, there's an omelet station. I guess I can get in here. So yeah, there's the omelet station right there. All your standard ingredients. Here's the carvery. Yep, they're very small. <laughs> what we got? We got the carvery here. All kind of stuff, sausages and hams and chickens and pork bellies, everything, smoked briskets, all of it. We'll move on over here. We got some uh, got some rolls. All right, we got a little bit of muscle dish here with the American section. This looks a little Italian to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, if I am, correct me in the comments. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, some mashed potatoes, and some broccoli there in the back. Looks like they need a little bit of a restock for that one. And speak of the devil, here we go. They got the restock for the broccoli. All right, we got the old tried and true biscuits and gravy. Some, some pancakes and syrup. French toasts, some various fruits. Hello. All right, we got some good shit here. We got some potatoes, breakfast potatoes. I love me some breakfast potatoes. Got some scrambled eggs, some cheese blintzes, and some strawberry sauce. Those look pretty good. Coming over here into the Italian section, right here. Got cinnamon rolls. 
cheese pizza, some breakfast pizza. I don't see the breakfast pizza anywhere. I just see pepperoni, cheese, and some uh, assorted. Then we're coming over here into the, got chicken sausage and pork sausage, bacon, and cheese tortellini with Italian sausage. All right, then we got uh, over here with a little bit of seafood here. We got some shrimps, some green-lipped mussels, and then some smoked salmon, so you can actually get some bagels and salmon over here. And then over to the salad department, got some Caesar, a little bit of macaroni salad, a little uh, cucumber tomato. Uh, that's almost like a Connie salad, imitation crab. We have a make-your-own salad station here, it looks like. All the fixins, almost like a Greek salad. We have some yogurts. We've got a little bit of a granola, if you want some of that. Some cereals right here. Here's your juices. Right here, some bubbly, sparkling water, Pepsis, things like that. And then a coffee machine right here. All right, let's go check out the desserts. All right, now for the desserts. Let's see what we got here. Usually Vegas does pretty good desserts. Nothing's really labeled, so not really sure what all of it is. Got some parfait, some little cream puffs. We got some cookies, some uh, eclairs. We got some, um, forget what these are called, uh, cannolis, some cupcakes, some Swiss rolls, donuts, muffins, some danishes. Got gluten-free options on Palma Quest. We got some cakes here. They look pretty good. Oh, look at that pie. We got, some, we got some pies here, some cheesecake, some plates if you want to eat that. <laughs> Not sure what she's got there, but that looks damn good. Ooh, what, is, what do you got there? Is that like some bread pudding? Some fresh bread pudding. She just put it out. We got some uh, custard. Some frozen custard with a little bit of little station here. You can put stuff in there. We got ice cream cones. We got some muffins as well. Some more cakes. Pecan, carrot cake. Whole bunch of cakes. Look at all the cakes. Pies and cakes. Cakes and pies. Cakes and pies. Cakes and pie. <laughs> We got apple pie, cherry pie, and then it looks like we got crepes being made right here. Some fresh crepes. So that is the buffet. I'm gonna head back to the table. I'm gonna let the wife get something because she's been patiently waiting. And then I will get a plate and we'll chow down. All right, so we see what the wife got here. She got some scrambled eggs, uh, some more eggs. <laughs> the hard, some hard boiled eggs with some smoked salmon. And the bagel, she loves that shit. Uh, some cheese blintzes, some sausage, and some bacon. Oh, you got some chicken apple sausage. See, I've tried that before, and I just don't like it. So another thing we got that we got the little wristbands. Everything is self served. Bacchanal win. Uh, what else? Wicked spoon. All those. You have a server, and they come. They you know they bring your drinks and everything like that. So uh, I got the house margarita. It's pretty good. She got the. She got the mimosa. It was, you know, 15 bucks. Not bad. I'm, I plan on getting some more. 90 minute limit. But yeah, I'm going to go up and get me something. Unless you want to go up and get your coffee now. You're going to go get your coffee? Okay, she's going to go up and get coffee. And then I'm going to go grab me a plate. So stay tuned. All right, I'm back with my plate here. Let's take a run in here. So we got the bok choy and mushrooms because I really like bok choy. Uh, there's a restaurant, hot pot restaurant back home. I, I kill the bok choy there. Got some of the orange chicken. Some of the kielbasa. We got a little pot sticker there, or dumpling, whatever you want to call it. We got the chorizo potatoes. We got one piece of uh, sushi. We got the shrimp lo mein. And then we got some fried rice. So I did gonna, I'm gonna hit the other half of it of the section next plate. So I didn't want to pack the pack it too tight. So let's try this stuff out. See if it's any good. All right. So let's navigate the plate here a little bit. <laughs> she forgot to press the play button. So as you see, my orange chicken here has got a couple bites that I can out of it. So uh, yeah, we got the orange chicken. It's pretty good. It's like some good white meat. Uh, yeah. 
So I normally compare these places like my baseline is sort of like a Golden Corral. That's sort of my baseline for like a okay buffet. And Later. It is pretty comparable. Uh, of course, the dessert sets it apart, which from every buffet we've been to in Vegas, we, we've been to uh, Wicked Spoon, Bacchanal a couple times, and we've been to The Wind. We're actually going to The Wind later this week. If you want to check that one out, uh, make sure you're liked and subscribed. And check out down below our Instagram, Facebook, all those links, so you can follow us there and see cool stuff. But Vegas seems to set themselves apart with the buffets with the desserts. Because the dessert stations are usually pretty good. Of course, as you saw there in the video. So now we have the chorizo potatoes. Definitely good, like some country potato. Got peppers and onions in it. And a little bit of chorizo. The chorizo isn't overpowering. Like normally you get some chorizo and it's like very like it overpowers the dish. But this actually blends pretty good. We're actually staying at the Luxor. We we're gonna do the Luxor buffet. But we kind of heard a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, negative things about it. So we were like, let's just do the My Vegas reward. If you're not on My Vegas again, you need to get on My Vegas. If you'd like to see me do a video on the My Vegas games and the rewards, leave a comment down below. I'll do a separate video on that because they are amazing. You can you can literally save, we're not talking like five, ten percent here. Talking hundreds that you can save on your trip here. We've got uh, basically spend 40, get 20 offs for a lot of places. We've got uh, free uh, cocktails. And stuff. Free free cocktails. Of course, this was buy one get one free, so we saved 30 dollars right here alone. Which then we got the drink package. So essentially, we got the drink package for free because we got buy one get one. Uh, what else did we get? Free play. We have over 100 dollars in free play from uh, from the My Vegas. And that's, you know, everybody in your party, too. So she can get them and I can get them. So you can double up. So all kinds of stuff. You definitely need to check them out if you're coming to Vegas anytime soon. We got the, the shrimp lo mein. The shrimp lo mein there. Very shrimpy. Very shrimpy flavor. If that makes sense. Those are pretty good though. The wife is enjoying her salmon and cream cheese bagel. Would like to show it to the camera? They want you to. They asked. They asked me to tell you to do that. Wow! There you go. All right, let's try some of the bok choy and mushrooms. Get some bok choy and mushroom. I love bok choy. Bok choy can stay like soft, but also crunchy at the same time. And I'm on my second margarita. For those of you who are counting, let's put it down. Let's see if I can put it down below. Put a little counter down below. All right, some sushi. Of course, I'm eating it with a fork. Yes, if you're triggered, we eat sushi all the time. Check some of our older videos. I know how to eat sushi with chopsticks, but I only got one, and I didn't feel like it wasting chopsticks for one. Do they have chopsticks in there? Uh -huh. Oh. Standard little sushi roll. What? Standard little sushi roll, pretty good. And then the pot sticker or dumpling, gyoza. Is that what I would call it. That's pretty good. I like that. That's good. That's good. Soft, yet has a little bit of a little bit of mellow crunchiness. We're gonna use big words to describe our food. Crunchiness is a big word. It's got more than like six letters. Three syllables. Crunchiness, yeah, so it's it's a big word. A 
And then I got one onion with the orange chicken. I just got one onion. Should I give it to the wife? She loves onions. Okay, give us a like right now and I'll give it to the wife. Three, two, one. She didn't she she rejected my gift. You guys didn't like it. You guys didn't like the video. Alright, let's try the fried rice. Doesn't look super fried, but looks alright. We got some peas, some eggs. It's like some spring onions in there. This is just cream, cream cheese. They do have crepes up there too. They're made to order crepes. I don't like this one. There should be some strawberry jelly or something in it. It's up there. You didn't sit next to it. It's you were supposed to. You were supposed oh. to pour it over. She messed up. She got the cheese blints, but didn't grab the. Uh, didn't get the stuff to go over top of it. Now we have the kielbasa. Love me some kielbasa. You see Polish, Polish kielbasa all the time. Hillshire Farm. traffic jam in the Carberry right now. Yeah, when I went up, there was nobody up there. Now there's a lot. All right, well, that's the end of the first plate. I think I'm going to, next plate I'm going to go, I'll go to the American-Italian side. Try some of the potatoes and eggs and all that kind of stuff. And then maybe switch back a little bit to the other side, because the orange chicken was pretty good. And, uh, yeah, we'll check that out. So, plate number two coming up. All right, we are back with plate number two. We've got some breakfast potatoes. It looks pretty much essentially the same as the chorizo one, but of course, without the chorizo. So, here we go. We got some mac and cheese. We got some, uh, some French toast, a little bit of syrup. There was an issue with the syrup there. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, do you have ketchup, I guess? Yeah, I'll bring it. Cool, thank you. All right. So the syrup was like very runny. So I put it on the plate and it is literally covering the entire bottom of the plate. So everything is going to be uh, syrup flavored. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, we got some eggs here. There's no like cheese sauce or anything like that to put over top of it. Uh, a little bit of bacon and some regular sausage. So we're gonna dig in here and see what round two is. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of mashed potatoes as well. So we're gonna dig in and see what round two tastes like. Make sure you press record this time. All right. Some mac and cheese. I love some mac and cheese. It's one of my favorite things. Again, uh, everything is slightly syrup flavored. Yep, sure. There you go. Thank you. I'm drinking him still. Oh. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're fine. It's got some mac and cheese. I got. I got a little bit. Of, hold on. I got a little bit of napkin on the bottom of the fork. Uh, I think it tastes pretty good. It does taste slightly like syrup, like I said. Looks a little unfortunate. Pretty creamy. The mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and cheese and syrup. Look, yeah. Look. Yeah, that's gross. What the world. I put a little bit, but it literally went boom all over the plate. All right, let's try the potatoes here. The breakfast potatoes. Again, essentially the same thing, just minus the chorizo. They're okay. They taste a little bit like they've been sitting out for a little bit, which it's a buffet. It's going to happen. We got some snossages. Little snossages, yeah. Not bad. I probably wouldn't get them again. But they're not bad. 
right. I'll say the thing that ruined the plate for last, though. So we got some eggs. Pretty fluffy. They're pretty decent. We like a little bit of cheese sauce on them, though. Or but just melted cheese. It's all good. Yeah, at least that. We got some uh, some mashed potatoes. You can see the heat coming off those. They look, they look whipped pretty good. They look pretty creamy. And they are. I dare say they taste almost like bagged. Or like Hungry Jack. You know, like the, the flakes. Where you just heat up the water. They probably are, knowing that it's a buffet. But that's kind of what they taste like. Although that did taste like a chunk of potato right there, so maybe not. A lump of potato? Lump of potato? Yeah. Well, they might have a big mixer that puts yeah. them up. So it might not. All right. And the piece de resistance, the one that contaminated the entire plate, the French toast. Well, I guess some French toast. Cold, a little cold. Oh, yeah, great. Maybe splash some of that warm syrup on it. Well, it's not bad. A lot of times you get it and it'll be like mushy in the middle. Yeah. A little too mushy. This is alright. So, I mean, overall, again, decent buffet. But it's cheaper on the weekdays than it is on the weekends. I don't know what the menu difference is because we've never come here before. It was actually closed. Uh, we came like the first couple times, like pre-COVID, so it was closed. Uh, but I would definitely recommend it. I would 100% recommend you get those My Vegas Rewards though if you're gonna try it. So I think the next plate will probably be just some dessert. I think that's, we'll check out a couple of those. I don't have Del Mar here making me a custom plate like I did at the uh, Bacchanal that time. If you haven't seen that one, It'll probably be linked in the, uh, in the playlist that we have for Vegas. Uh, one of the guys at the dessert station just just kept packing up, boy, just bringing plate after plate of desserts and all kind of stuff to the table. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna try some of dessert, so. All right, so we are back with dessert and another margarita. This is number four. Definitely would recommend getting the drink package. All right, so I got a chip. And a red, she's, she's cutting eyes at me right now because I say chlip. She doesn't like the way I say chlip. Uh, we got some raspberry chocolate and caramel drizzle on there. We got a red velvet cupcake and we got a little Swiss cake roll here as well. It almost looks like a zinger. I don't know if you know what zingers are, if you have zingers in your area. But it's like a Twinkie covered with like a raspberry thing with some coconut on it and shit. So it's kind of what it looks like. So we're going to try this out. And then pretty much probably call the video at the end, so let's check it out. All right, let's try that crepe first while it's good and warm. They are made fresh to death. There we go. Very nice. Tastes almost like a pancake. Fired apparently. The edges are always the best. Uh. You can't see it because she just dumped some of it off the table. Well, not off the table, but off the plate. I thought they had some cookies up there before, but I didn't see any this time. I was gonna grab a couple cookies. Because I do love me some cookies. All right, let's try some of this, some of this Swiss roll here. It's got paper on it, just so you know. I know it's got paper on it. I see the paper. Right there. It's essentially a fancy zinger, which is good. It's made pretty well. What do you think? It's okay. 
So my wife is a, is a pastry chef. Not by trade, but by practice. She kind of did just do some schooling for it. She worked at a few restaurants as a pastry chef, so... I usually ask her what she thinks about the pastries. I try to get her to make me some, but she never makes me any. Can y'all feel that? Can y'all feel the eyes through the screen? And here we have the red velvet. Would you like some red velvet? I want to use my spoon though. I don't want to bite it. Actually, cut, break it in half and put it on top of it. Yeah, but then are you going to eat it on camera? I'm going to bite it. Why? What is your synopsis? It's a cupcake. Is it okay? Is it light and airy and fluffy? Not really, but red velvet cake is not anyway. Am I edged up? I don't taste, I don't think that's butter, uh, sour, uh, cream cheese frosting. I think that's just regular frosting. Maybe it is. Can you taste cream cheese off of it? Very mild. I think it's mixed with buttercream. It's kind of, it just seems like sugary whipped cream. Yeah, I think they mix maybe buttercream with sour with uh, cream cheese. Isn't buttercream like a little yellow though? Yeah. It's like pure white. No, when it, you can you can whip it so that's white. Or it depends on the butter. Sometimes you're gonna get white. So that's pretty good. It's just a little sweet. It's very sweet. Yeah. And a little heavy, but it's not bad. I would say the grape's pretty good. Especially because it's made fresh. But there's a whole bunch up there, like... Depends what you are if you're a dessert person. You would love these buffets. Because they're just, they're packed, slam packed full of desserts. But having said that, uh, final synopsis. I would recommend this place. It's pretty good. If you don't want to go spend the $60, $70, $80 for some of the other buffets that are on the Strip, and you kind of just want to, you know, experience that Las Vegas casino quintessential buffet, I would recommend this place. The brunch is pretty good. $30 a person, so it's not too expensive. It won't break the bank. You're probably going to lose more in a slot machine than you will coming here. And the drink package, $14.99. You really can't beat that. Like... You can't. You can't beat that. One drink here in Vegas is damn near that much. We went to the foundation room last night, and one drink was $12, and another drink was $21. So here I am with four, and her with four for $14.99. Essentially free. Yeah, four ninety nine each. Essentially free because of the um, because of the buy one get one from My Vegas. Again, you gotta check out that My Vegas. But uh. Other than that, we're getting ready to sign off here. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Your favorite casino in Las Vegas. Or if you've never been here before, you know, tell me about your favorite vacation spot where you're from. But other than that, sign out. Trippin' ain't easy. The show is fun.